So here he is, one of the greatest welterweights in UFC history, the Nigerian nightmare, Kamaru Usman. Some criticized maybe his wrist mitigation late in that Leon Edwards fight, but this man is an offensive fighter. He's got every skill in the book, and uh, we'll see which ones he chooses to employ here tonight. It's crazy because when he came off the alternate fight, he was known as a bit boring. But him and Trevor Whitman have such a great partnership that they have developed a style that works for Kamaru, and it works at such an elite level. He got caught. How does he bounce back? This guy, his jab is tremendous. He can knock you out with it. His wrestling and his top control is second to none. Kamaru Usman possesses all the skills in the world. How does he implement those skills tonight when he steps inside the octagon? And one thing you never have to worry about, the output, the work ethic, one of the hardest workers in the room in the UFC, and he is at the height of motivation getting back on the proven ground tonight. Shimaya making the walk tonight as a middleweight. A lot of people think eventually he's going to be a UFC champion, and he's got a big fight in front of him tonight. I mean, this guy's a monster, you know, from his mindset to the way that he competes. Hamza Shimaya is one of those guys that passes the eye test. The moment you lay eyes on him, you said this kid has something special about him. He has great wrestling. He has great striking. He has great cardio. The guy has it all. And I'm so excited to once again watch him compete and sit here in his seat and call his fight. The work ethic has never been an issue, perhaps the diet at times when it comes to getting down to 170 pounds, but this man is a problem and ready to impose his will here tonight. Hamzat Shimaya, once again, ready to engage in a big spot here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC welterweight champion, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Usman. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Hamzat Bosch Jemaya. Herbert Dean's in the building. He's right. the third man in the octagon right. tonight. Right. All right, early round action here. Kamar Usman's wrestling is next level. His MMA wrestling, super functional. But he believes that the jab is going to be the key here tonight. Obviously, he has gone to great lengths to develop that under Trevor Whitman. And he felt like he might actually be able to win this fight without securing a single takedown. We shall see. Great block there. Attempts the front kick there. Stuffs the takedown. Oh, how about the judo toss there? Judo 101. Well, good dexterity and movement here on the ground to avoid any further damage, courtesy of that ground and pound. Nice job off of his back by Hamza Chimaev. Now he's going full mount. Got to be careful here. He is really doing a nice job with his head movement here defensively on the ground to avoid. Got to be careful here. 
she might have. Getting touched here repeatedly with these ground and pound strikes from the top. Referee's not gonna bail you out. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Side control. Big ground and pound. Usman's able to make a nice transition there back into side control. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. Setting up an arm bar now. Arms in deep. Somehow, some way, he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Usman's right back to the full mount. Making all these shots count. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Hard elbows, hard elbows. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. You can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yep. You just got to move. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. I need you to scramble. Scramble. Well, the cut man's getting excited, but nobody else is. That cut's getting worse by the minute. Every time he gets hit there, it gets a little bit messier. Great job landing from the top position. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Big ground and pound. All right, so he can't get it here again. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. Mm, nice. Usman's back in full now. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Look to get your guard back now. Now he's got a good body position, yup. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Another strike gets through from the top okay. position. <laughs> 20 seconds left. Ground and pound the hammer. Mark Coleman would be proud. And there it is. Another strike gets through on the ground. Standing ground and another five minutes. Come on. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round as they attend to that pretty nasty cut in his eye area. You got to lock in defensively, man. You cannot be out there just fighting. His opponent is too high level to try to fight him with his ego. Now he's dealing with a nasty cut over his eye. Why do you need another thing to manage when you already got one of the best fighters in the world in front of you? You ready to fight? You ready? Here we are, early round two. Usman gets the single leg takedown. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. That was a slick transition. 
And another one. Another strike from the top. Lands for him. Usman's back in half guard. He's very comfortable here. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Yeah. Trying for a submission here. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. You gotta be kidding me. How did he get out? He just stayed calm. He was able to withstand the fire. And now he finds himself out and safe. Well, the fighter's gonna have to address this offense coming his way. He's getting really bloody around that eye. Yeah, and now it's just become a big target because his opponent is just seeing the blood and he's just going after it. He has got to move his head before the strike starts coming in his direction. Man, this is some serious ground in town. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC. And you're seeing why. Oh, huge ground strike there. I can see the cut man's actually getting excited. Gotta be careful here. Posture and elbow. Posture and elbow. Usman's in half court. Ooh, right into side control, DC. It looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here, DC. Yeah, he's isolated it to try to get a Kimura. Notice he'll step over the head to try to get the Kimura. Oh, the submission defense holds up. He gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. Usman gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood start to cut down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. He's gotta start throwing down. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has sufficient options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his ground and pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back to position, build posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half court. Oh, right into Mount. Under 90 seconds to go here in the second round. This is where he wants to be. Now looking to posture up, and he lands a big head strike. Nicely done there by Chimaev. Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. Nicely done. Well, at this point, I would use the word critical to describe the condition of that eye. Not looking good, champ. No, he's beat up. He's been battered, he's been bruised. He got cut early in the fight, and you understood that if he didn't change something, it would get much worse. He didn't change anything, and now we're here. Now inside the closed guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Print the shirts, ground and pound. He passes the half guard. 20 seconds to go, round two. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Shemayev's got him in a crucifix now, going to go to work from the top. Usman's now dealing with a cheat cut. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he won. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. Yeah, so the fighter right. was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here.
All right, let us now get you some replays of all the damage done in that previous round, including the strike that opened up the cut. Yeah, some nasty strikes landed over the course of that round, and it opened up a nasty cut. He has got to find a way to change some Ready things fight. defensively, or Ready. that cut is just going to get worse and worse. And the worse it gets, the more he runs the risk of this fight getting stopped. That's a good kick by him right there. And there he goes, lands another combination. <laughs> Side control, yep. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Good solid strike on the ground. So that cut continues to get more severe with every passing moment of the fight. Every moment. You know, when you get cut in the fight, you expect for it to worsen because you're not gonna not get hit anymore. Right now he's gotta do something to try to limit the damage. Otherwise, it's gonna get real bad. He needs to move. better move. Yeah, he's gotta move, John. He's gotta shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Posture's up. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. In the half guard. Standing over his opponent here and making these strikes count. Beautiful sequence there by Chimaya. Oh, the cut on that cheek is only getting worse. His face is a mess. Chimaya's looking to pass out of the half guard here, maybe looking for side control. He's denied. Oh, he's attacking choke now. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Submission what defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and the show in that defense. Lands the ground and pound strike. Well, he has expended a lot of energy going for these submissions tonight. I'm not sure his opponent is actually submittable. No, it doesn't seem like it because every time he goes for a submission, he gets close or at least he expects to get close. But his opponent is so on his game that he's not giving him much to work with. This has been a beautiful display of grappling offensively, but also defensively. Oh, shades of the godfather with the ground and pound Mark Coleman as he lands again. Cole is somewhere smiling, watching this guy land from the top position. Once he got him cut, he recognized where he needs to be throwing these shots, and once again, he lands right on that cut. Oh, he's gotta be careful there, yep. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get up on the hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Good work from the top here by Us. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, another strike hits right on that cut. Ringside position might have to intervene soon. Get the ball here. Well, landing several strikes here from the top, standing over his opponent. Good work here by Kamaru Ust. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. Takes his back. You need to fight down. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Usman. Thirty seconds to go in the round. Twenty seconds left. Come on, come on, 
Oh, big shots from the top. Yep, got to be very careful there. Shimaev's in half guard now. Can't get a good awareness by the defensive fighter. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, we're going to stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. All right, let us re-rack some replays of the damage done in that round, see if we can isolate the strike that caused the cut. Yeah, a nasty cut opens up when he lands there. It's a beautiful shot that gets to the target. He has not been responsible defensively, and he's really paying for it because now he's dealing with that nasty cut. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five, five minutes left. Oh, he's hurt. Lands a big elbow there. Oh, a really nice takedown. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Hamza Chimaya. All right, so the blood continues to be a major factor in this fight. And I think at some point the referee is going to intervene here, DC. He hasn't been able to change anything, right? So it doesn't, we have no indication that he's going to be able to stay in this fight. The cut was opened very early. And now we're at a point where it's going to be stopped due to all the blood and how limited he is in trying to stay in this fight. Beautiful ground strikes landed. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Usman's eye is closing up. These are big shots, and they're not glancing blows. When he's throwing, he is landing so clean that his head is starting off the mat. Nice positional control here. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Shimaev's cut on his cheek is nasty, leaky, leaky. That thing is leaking bad now. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Usman's right back to the full mount here. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Shimaev's in half court. Three minutes to go. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Usman. Posturing up now. Oh, huge elbow. Oh, what do we got here? Looks like an arm triangle attack. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle is tight. Very smart there. You never favor submission over a dominant position. Neon belly, big strikes, landing here. All right, well, things are getting critical now. A lot of damage, a lot of blood in and around that eye. You could stop this fight right now. You can stop it right now. I mean, I don't understand what anyone's waiting for. They're giving this guy a chance. But if he doesn't do something different to fight. Big, big shots landed by him now. Oh, he got to the spot. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Usman's in half guard. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Hamza Chimai. Now he's going full mount. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. Gotta be careful there. Well, this is getting hard to watch, and sometimes you hear us say a fighter is too tough for their own good. Anybody want to save this athlete right now? Yeah, this is, this is a classic case of that, where a guy is just too tough. He's not going to win this fight. He may as well throw in the towel. I mean, his corner can stop it. The referee can stop it. The doctor can stop it. Somebody can stop it. Oh, this could be over soon. Oh. Well, as usual, 
of suffocating work from the top here by Usman. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Nice defense. Usman's back inside control here. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Oh, he's got his back. All right, half guard now. Not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want to go forward. So as he comes forward, hand goes off the face, let it slip into an underhook, build up to your elbow, then go chase your single leg. This is high-level grappling, John, from a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt named Daniel Cormier. Whoo! <laughs> All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cup. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to Ready tough to out way too Ready. many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's going to find himself in trouble. Usman's doing a real good job with his jab right now. Unable to connect with the right. All right, he engages in a single power tie here. Usman going for the takedown here. Nothing doing that. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't need too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Oh, right into Mount. Oh, using a lot of good movement. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. That was nice. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing stroke. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Usman's in half goal. There it is. Now he's running out. Trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. He's got it locked in. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. Lands with the ground and pound here. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Making all these shots count. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Usman's in half guard now. Get the ball here. I mean, at this point, you just have to do something. You know, you have to maybe start trying to pull guard, grab him, pull him into you to try to change it and get it. All oh, these ground strikes are just brutal. Nice transition. 
he's got the ground and pound going now. Strong work from the top here by Us. Might be a submission attempt here, Chan. I mean, Shimaev's going for a choke. Oh, looks like he's got the sub locked in. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Usman. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. This is a terrible position. Oh, heavy shots raining down. All right, very late in the fight now, DC. I know we don't have open scoring, but correct me if I'm wrong. Trying to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Right into a takedown. You gotta fight. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Keep moving those hips until you get your guard back. He's got to be careful here. Final seconds of this fight. Oh, big, big shots here. And there is the final horn. What a 25-minute affair tonight. We're going to the scorecards. The Ladies official decision is in. It resides rounds, with Bruce Buffett. We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest. 49-45. 49-44 and 49-45. For the winner by unanimous decision, Kamaru, the Nigerian nightmare, Usman. All right, so judges' scorecards are needed. They are rendered, and they go to Kamaru Usman, your winner tonight by decision. I thought he fought pretty well tonight. Well, I mean, we knew when his decision was going to be ready, it was going to be 